your farm. Uh, number one, you need to know the breed you want. For an example, you need an alpine like the ones that I have here. You need to understand that the alpine is blue in color, as you can see. Then it has a black stripe from the head to the tail. You can see that. Another thing you need to check is about the history. The history enables you to know where this goat came from. And that's the reason why you can be able to see all our animals are well uh, ear tagged. This ear tag number is the code when I go to my system can show me where this goat came from depending on the genetics and also depending on the origin and also depending on which lineage it came from. Is it a pure? Is it an F1? Is it a pedigree? This ear tag will give me that information. The other thing is when you are purchasing a goat and maybe you are new because I don't want to say it is a very good market out there, you'll find that there are people who are selling goats, but they don't even know what they are selling. Uh, when you come, like now, for an example, I want to sell you this bag. Number one, you need to look at how old it, it is. This bag is only uh, 1.8 months. That is one year, eight months. Uh, or in total, we can call it the 20 months. The 20 months and the height you can see on this animal tells you it has been fed well from the time it was young. Then, also because of being of a good quality breed, that's why it has grown very well. You'll find that somebody is selling you a goat, which is maybe one year, one year of age, but you, can, you, you, you can't compare with a, a six month old ones. That tells you what, there is a problem in breeding. Whereby maybe there was a problem in inbreeding. Because when you do the inbreeding, of course you'll find that your goat will not grow as big as by uh, I mean your expectations. The other thing is, when you look at this back and you want to, 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 to meet it uh, with your animals, Definitely, because of the, 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 the length, now we are not talking about the height, we are talking about now from the nose to the tail, it's long enough. That tells you the offspring of this animal as well, they will be very good in terms of the length of it, you can see it. If, for an example, I might lay this back from me, and you can see, it's taller than me. Why? Because it's a good breed. You'll find that there are some of the animals, if you raise it like that, it is shorter than you. And yet, you are calling it a mature bug. So, those are the few points you need to see. Then, as I told you about the management, that's why you see this bug is very friendly. When you understand and speak to your animals. They listen to you. And that's why you can see this bug. It's very well operating with what we are doing. Other people also, they keep goats with the horns. When you look at all my goats, they are all hornless. I want to tell you a secret here. As I told you earlier, this is a business like any other. In your business, Try to eliminate all unnecessary things in your business. When you come to the homes, they don't have any profit in your farm. So this tells you what, when this goat may be by having the homes, it will be maybe very hostile. To me and even to others, that becomes a risk to my farm as a business. So that's why we normally do horn or our animals. Because at the end of the day, when we are counting our sales, there is no day we have ever sold or increased our sales because of our goods having the heart. Thank you.